All right, well, this should be a little bit different. This is my first uh, video for the Cigar Bay uh, Tasting Club. Um, and we're just uh, a couple of guys that are gonna uh, share uh, samples with uh, whiskeys with each other, uh, which is cool. It's a good way to get to try the new try new things without having to you know pay bar prices or buy whole bottles things like that um, and I've never done this before you've uh, if you've seen my other videos I've done some mezcals just because I'm brand new to that um, so I kind of started the beginning of my journey with videos on that um, and then anything else I'm a scotch guy um, and so the only other videos I've done is um, doing um, you know kind of flights or, or uh, comparing a, across one brand uh, different scotches, but I don't consider myself a great taster of being able to pull out notes um, and uh, just, we'll, we'll just we'll just try it out see how it goes um, And I also don't do this. It's kind of a mixture of different uh, whiskeys um, all in the same day So I'm gonna go get myself a little a little tasting shot just to get used to um, the alcohol before I take the first one um, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, we're ready to go. So uh, I have four samples. I'm gonna be doing five whiskeys though. So the first one, and I'm gonna kinda go opposite normally what I would. Normally I'd save the one I'm looking forward to the most for the last, but I'm afraid some of the stuff might kinda screw up my palate. Uh, so I wanna know if I really do um, enjoy that one and if it's worth going to buy a bottle or not. Um, the other two, um, I'll explain why they were sent. Um, when I get to them, looking forward to those. Uh, I know I express interest in those. And then the last one, it'll be a little twist. I feel like I'm being punished for something. So anyway, here we go. This is the first one. Look at that beautiful color. It's great with the, the sun actually hitting right now. You can really see the, the shine on these. This one is Dalmore Cigar Malt, which is not supposed to be smoking, tastes like tobacco and all that. It's supposed to be something that goes well with a cigar. Um, and like many things, it'd be positive and negative, liking it or not liking it, um, just because I've, I've been hearing how great it is, but then it's not the cheapest thing in the world, so if I hate it, they're gonna save me some money. If I like it, I don't know, it's a cool bottle, I like the name. So on the nose, it's very, it's very mild. A little bit sweet. I haven't looked any of these up either. I don't know what I'm supposed to be smelling. I'd say maybe apples. Orchard fruit. Things like that, vanilla, but kind of uh, generic on the palate or on, on the nose. All right, well, that's cool. That's interesting. So the first thing I noticed was the mouthfeel. It feels a little bit viscous, which um, is nice. Um, and it certainly doesn't feel like you're tasting anything watered down. I also, like I said, I didn't look these up, so I don't know the ABV on that one. I don't think it's very high, actually, um, from just from memory. Oh man, it's a, we're in the middle of the day here. I'm sure you hear the, that's Caltrain down there going past the airport. Busy day, busy day. Um, I am digging this. And what it is, is that it changes very much from the front palette to the back palette. And I'll try to describe it, and I'm probably making stuff up. I think you do get some of that orchard fruit and things uh, on first uh, taste, a little bit of that um, shortbread cookie type of thing, uh, just a little grain. But then, then it transforms into, and, I, and this is where I don't know if I'm just making it up, And I don't think it's peated at all, but there is this richness, kind of smoky, earthy note at the back end. Um, that that's what I'm really curious, how that changes when uh, you have a cigar and the smoke. Um, 
yeah so i've got the rest of this i'll have the rest of this with a cigar uh later on that's a winner i like it i'm a peated i'm a peated scotch guy um i'm pretty sure this has no peat in it but for a non-peated scotch it does have a lot of body i, I like it okay moving on don't keep you here all day the next two are from del Bac, which is a distillery in arizona i'm not a bourbon guy at all but these are single malts they say um produce much like scotland so these are barley so maybe they ain't gonna be that bad here's the first one this is their classic this is just their straight up single malt beautiful colors on these right i don't know how long this has aged All right, so this is a little bit stronger on the nose. And I'm wondering if it's first fill casks, because I know that it's barley, but it does kind of have a, a bourbon note to it. It's got that bourbon-y corn, corn sweetness, but I'm 100% I'm sure this is, this is barley. It's a single malt, malt barley. Interesting. So I'm, I'm super curious what these are aged in now. I'm going to have to go look that up. Uh, because I would say it is more like a bourbon in taste um, than a scotch. It kind of has that, that bourbon sweetness. It's not as sweet as most bourbons, which is good for me. Um, but it lean, leans more towards that side. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy a bottle, but I certainly drink it. I like this better than 95% of the bourbons that I have had. Um, <clears throat> so the reason I think I got sent that one is that I heard about this next one, which is still Del Bac, but it's Dorado uh, Mesquite Smoked. There's their, their, there's their logo. There's this one. And when I heard of an American whiskey with mesquite smoke. Like I said, I'm, I'm into peat, so I was like, oh my gosh. That's either awful or amazing, I would, I would guess. <laughs> the nose is good. And it's different. It is certainly different than peat smoke. Some people get a barbecue with some peated scotches. I tend not to get that. I tend to get more of the campfire and stuff. This one is, to me, uh, way more on the barbecue side of things. But it's not super strong. Maybe a little campfire in there, but it's got some meat on it. Meat, smoky meat. Mm. And you actually can get the mesquite, the wood. It's not just the smoke. I, I, I feel like you're getting the wood... It's nice though. Whoa. Man, oh man, that is. That's the American version of, I don't know, Lafroig or whatever. That is smoking your face. Um, and it heats up. That is wild because I had it in my mouth there for, you know, a second or two. And I was like, oh, okay, a little little hint of smoke. And then it was like... <sighs> and again, for somebody that likes the strong peat, I like interesting things. I don't want one note and boring. There's times for that. You know, sometimes I'll have that stuff if, I, if I'm having it with food and not really concentrating on the flavors. And then, so when you hold it in your mouth, it's just of nice, and I don't know what you, I, I know it's not a, not a scotch, um, but this one doesn't taste like bourbon to me. It doesn't have that bourbon, bourbon sweetness much uh, to it. So it just tastes pleasant. 
And then when you swallow it, that's when you get the swelling of smoke. And then on the second uh, taste of it, it wasn't nearly as intense. Um, so that that's actually, that's very enjoyable. And that would be fun to experience through an evening. And I almost wonder too how that will uh, pair uh, with a cigar. All right, let me go grab the last. I've got one more sample, but I'm going to be doing a comparison. We're going to taste two more whiskey. Or, yeah, I'll be right back. All righty. We're here for the last segment, which I don't know, some people like this, more power to you. Uh, so the last sample is Johnny Walker White Walker, which has been in the freezer per instructions. Um, I never have tasted this. I've seen people joke about it being one of the worst whiskeys out there. I know some people like it. If you like it, right on. Um, so I want to drink this uh, pretty soon before it warms up in the glass. But what I'm comparing it with is the one that I have that I think is the worst one I've ever had, which is also a Johnny Walker. This is Wine Cask Blend, um, which is part of the Blender's Batch you see there where they finish in different things. I Early on in my Scotch journey, I saw this um, at a liquor store. I'd never seen anything like it before. I thought, oh, wow, I found, I found something kind of neat. Ooh, it's no good. All right, so Johnny Walker. So it's 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 ice cold right now. Not much nose, maybe a little lighter fluid on the nose. All right, not, 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 not awful, not awful. So it's got, it's got that praise going for it. Um, the original, it being cold kind of thickens it up, makes a, a decent mouth, mouth feel. Originally on the palate, it's just a very mild blended scotch, maybe a little, little kind of fruit. but it bitter. At the end, the finish, the finish is all bitter, which maybe that goes with White Walker, right? All right, so let's compare it to what is the wine cask blend. Oh, all right, yeah. Wine cask blend is still the worst I've had. Um, it's just nasty. Uh, if you want to try this, come on over. I'm not. I'm not drinking this. I don't. I wonder what to do. I keep thinking there'll be some use for it, and I don't want to put it down the the sink. But there we go. I guess if you if it's if you live in a super hot place uh, and you're going to drink it with ice and all that stuff, that's a whole nother discussion. Personally, and I'm terrible. I've said this before. I'm terrible about even adding water to see how things change. I just drink it out of the bottle. And that's it. And I kind of figure if you need to add ice to it to enjoy the flavor, then buy better stuff that you like. But sometimes, especially if you live where it's really hot, you're not going to be wanting to drink some, some of these powerful, you know, 50, 60% alcohols and, you know, 110 degree weather. Anyway, there we go. That's my first tasting. Gonna buy the cigar malt when I see it. Uh, there's one bottle around here that disappeared. That's all right. I got I got plenty going on. And that mesquite one, super interesting. I don't know if there's any distribution on that outside of Arizona, but if there is and you see it and, and you like interesting, I give it a shot.